In this video, we will talk about everything that you need to know about the IELTS speaking exam. So, let's begin. We will talk about the format of the exam, what to expect in the exam, and most importantly, what you can do to get a high score. Now, just before we get started, there has been a recent update with the IELTS speaking exam, and that is that some institutions are now making it easier for you to take the speaking exam by doing it over video call. So, we should also do our part to say thank you by smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm and making it turn blue. Doing this takes half a second and costs you absolutely nothing and as a way to say thank you, here is a picture of a cat. Now the IELTS exam is broken down into four sections. You have the reading, the writing, the listening and the speaking. And obviously, as you can tell by the title, we will specifically be focusing on the speaking exam. So the purpose of the speaking exam is to assess our spoken English. The same way that the writing exam is there to assess our writing. The speaking exam will last anywhere between 11 and 14 minutes and they will be split into three sections. Each section will focus on something different. So let's talk about part one. This part of the exam will last anywhere between four and five minutes and here you will be asked general questions. For example, the examiner might ask you questions about yourself, your family, your hobbies and interests and even what you do for a living. Now on the screen you'll be able to see more example questions that you might be asked in the exam. Now let's move on to part two of the exam which will last anywhere between three and four minutes. This part of the exam is called the individual long term and let me tell you why it has that name. And here the examiner will assess your ability to speak about a specific topic for this duration. So here's how that will work. The examiner will have a bunch of different cards. Each card will be based on a specific topic and then on that card there will be prompts about that topic. For example, the examiner might have one card about art. He might have another card about celebrations. He might have another card about traveling. And then each card will have a few bullet points and each bullet point will be a prompt for you to talk about. Once the examiner will give you this card, he or she will then give you a piece of paper and a pencil for you to make notes. Then the examiner will use a timer to start the time and he or she will let you know when your 60 seconds is over. During this 60 seconds, you are expected to make notes about what you will talk about. Just on a side note, 60 seconds isn't really a long time. Therefore, I don't advise you to write out your full speech. It's better for you to just make quick bullet points and then once your 60 seconds is over, you can just look at your bullet points and talk. But I've made a separate video on this and I will link that in the card above. Also, once your 60 seconds is over, you are expected to put your pencil and your paper down. Now, once you speak, you're still allowed to look at your piece of paper, but obviously you cannot add further notes. Another thing to note is that you have two minutes to speak. Now, you don't have to speak for the full two minutes, but I strongly suggest that you at least try to do so. Now, what happens if you speak for the full two minutes and you haven't finished? Well, then the examiner will just say stop. That's not a bad thing, by the way. In fact, that's probably a better thing than you might think. Now, I have made a video about how you can practice to get into the habit of speaking for this full two minutes. So when it comes to your exam, speaking for two minutes will be natural. I will keep links to all the videos that you can benefit from in the description below. So be sure to check them out. Now, let's talk about what the examiner will focus on whilst you are speaking. The examiner will be checking if you are using appropriate language when speaking, and they will also be checking if you are speaking in an organized and logical way. Now let's move on to part three which is called the two-way discussion. This section will last anywhere between four and five minutes and as you can tell by the title of this section it will be a one-to-one -one conversation with you 
and the examiner. The questions in this part of the exam will be directly related to the topic that you spoke about in part two. So for example, if you spoke about art in part two, then you will continue to talk about art in part three. The only difference is that in part two, you spoke on your own, but in part three, you will continue to talk about this topic with the examiner. According to the IDP website, you want to show the examiner that you can share your opinion about a particular topic and that you can also discuss the topic with the examiner in more detail. Now, as an example, if in part two, you spoke about daily routines, then a typical question that you might be asked in part three might be, do you think having a daily routine is important? And then you will just share your opinion and try to justify your answer. Then once your four to five minutes is over, the examiner will tell you that your speaking test has now come to an end and you'll be able to leave. Now, if you've liked this video, I've made this short playlist over here, which contains a few videos directly related to the IELTS speaking exam. So make sure you check that out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.